introduce the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. It's game time, baby. You ready to do this? Anna, you're on the morning show at your school, right? TV star, I love it. Is that, they're throwing up the W's for the win right now? Wow. Trash talk has begun and I love it. Welcome to the show, everybody. How about this, three bright students? You guys ready to rock? Yeah. They're straight A students and our teachers over here, they've taught them everything they know. They're from Overbrook High School in Camden County, New Jersey. But today, everyone's in my classroom. I'm the boss and I'm pitting these teachers against those students. Look, a lot on the line today, but we gotta see who showed up in-house to celebrate it. What's up out there? Got the whole cheer team front row. You guys look awesome. All right, here we go. You guys know the drill. You know the show. It's $500 cash, bragging rights for the winner. Let's meet our contestants. Before we even do that, we're going for a pop quiz. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Here's the scoop. Pop quiz is about to start. I have three seniors right here who have been doing four years at this school and are ready to show off their knowledge. Let's do this, guys. Pop quiz starts right now. According to a popular saying about being frugal, what doesn't grow on trees? Mr. Prescott. Money. Money. Very quick on the buzzer there. What number is represented by the Roman numerals XX? Again, Mr. P. 20. 20. Student's going to break his going here. What is the first and last name of the character played by Australian actress Catherine Langford in the Netflix series 13 Reasons Why? Anna. Hey, Hannah Baker. Nice. Said with enthusiasm. In 1961, the United States launched the Bay of Pigs invasion in an attempt to overthrow the communist government of what country, Mr. Prescott? Cuba. Cuba is right. In the MLB, the Blue Jays represent what Canadian city, Mr. Prescott? Toronto. Toronto is right. Students, break this streak here. What type of involuntary muscle is only found in the heart? Mr. Prescott again. A vow? Free guess here. Involuntary muscle, if you want to buzz in. Ivy? Pulmonary. We're looking for the cardiac. Right there, the elite, the one, and the air are all installments of what Kiera Cass book series? Looking for the selection there. What two letters are used for the abbreviation for the state of Nebraska? Mr. P. NB. Free guess here. Anna? NE. NE is right. Good cleanup. Move on. Song about you and Cooler Than Me are songs by what artist? Tommy. Mike Posner. There it is. Nicely done. Took a little bit, but you got there. Extra credit question. This one's worth double. Students, you could take the lead right here. In the U.S. system of measurements, how many cups are in two quarts? Mr. Prescott. 16. Free guess here. Anna. Uh, eight. Eight is right. That's going to double it up at the buzzer. And how about it? I am calling Anna the one man cleanup crew because she was cleaning up Prescott over there. You were getting those ones. Mr. P, how many bar trivia games have you been to, sir? Because you are firing on all cylinders here. Teachers, glad to have you guys. Students, great to see you as well. They're from Overbrook High School in Pine Hill, New Jersey. Look at that building. It's beautiful sunny day there. Home of the Rams. Speaking of sunshine, where do you meet our teams? Hi, I'm Tommy. I play football and tennis, so today I'll be ready to serve up an L and ace the teachers. Hi, I'm Ivy. I'm a senior, and I'm the captain of the academic challenge team. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm a senior. I'm an anchor on the morning news. This just in, the teachers are going to lose. My name is Maria Panvini. I teach theater at Overbrook High School. The students might be acting confident, but I know bad acting when I see it, and we're going to take them down. I'm Mr. Prescott. I'm the business teacher and track coach, which means the teachers are going to run the score up on the students and take care of business. Hi, I'm Suzanne Palmikatz. I teach English, and I'm the coach of the academic challenge team. And my team members over there, look out. <laughs> Students and teachers are geared up to play. Anna, I gotta ask because I don't hear about this too often. You're on the TV show back at your school. Yeah, I'm on the morning news. So how much how much uh, correlates to what you're seeing here today? Um, I don't honestly. 
It's like more rehearsed. We have like a script in the morning, but this is just like all improv. Well, really. I'll tell you what, that smile is ear to ear. That's perfect for television. So guys, let's keep rocking and rolling. Teachers, you're behind by 10, but it all goes down next in detention. Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Here we go. Buckle up. Teachers, you are first out of the gates, and I give you this category to pass or play on. It's history. Let's take it. We'll play. We're going to take it. Here is your question. NAFTA eliminates most tariffs between the U.S., Canada, and Mexico and regulated what other T word, which is the na in the NAFTA name? Train. 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 Excuse me. Train is right. <laughs> Toot toot, here comes the right answer. Hop on that train right there. Train train. Yeah, all right, cool. So you guys get that right. And now you get out Tommy, Ivy, or Anna. We send one to detention. We're saying goodbye to Tommy. See Tommy. Tommy, out of there. Whoa. Tommy, the only thing about going to detention first that's good is they think you're the smartest. So there you go. Or they just don't like you. I, I'm going smart, though. So there you go. Tommy, grab a seat. You're like six foot six, so hopefully you fit in that desk. Okay, we move on. Students, we go to you. Category, English. I'll take this. You want to take it? We'll take it. Here you go. In poetry, what line of verse has five metrical feet, each consisting of one short syllable followed by one long syllable, and is famous for having been used by Shakespeare? Iambic pentameter. Yeah, I was... Iambic pentameter. That's exactly right. Good job, guys. Ivy, Anna, come up with the right answer. Mr. Prescott. Mr. Prescott. Mr. P, out of the game. Wow. Look at that. We got Tommy and Prescott into detention, and the game continues. Love some good sportsmanship out of you, too. That was a good handshake. Teachers, we go back to you. Category, movies. We'll play. Here we go. In the Marvel movies, what is the name of Steve Rogers' friend who was brainwashed into becoming an assassin called the Winter Soldier? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the... Green Lantern. <laughs> no, no, that was that was close. Bucky is the right oh, answer. The, yeah. guess. the Green Lantern was right there. Thank you. Okay, guys, you couldn't get it done. Anna Ivy, you get to make a decision here. Is it Miss Panini or is it Miss Palm? Miss Palm. Miss Palm. Miss Palm out of there. Our English teacher no longer in the game. I love it. You know how I know Miss Miss Pom is a veteran teacher. She decides how she goes to detention. Now, the floor manager showed her the way around that way, but she was like, "Peace, losers! I'm going this way." And that's what you can do when you've been teaching this long. All right, she's comfortable over there. Let's get to the next category. Students, here you go. Oh, you're gonna like this one. Pop culture. We'll see. We'll take it. In April of 2016, YouTube personality Bethany Moda announced her final collection with what clothing store after a three-year exclusive collaboration? Aeropostel. Aeropostel. For the win! They grab it! Aeropostel is right! Miss P, you keep going to attention. And look, she goes the right way. That's it. Tommy, make a break for it, buddy. You're back here with us. Come on back. How about this one? Students jump out to the 90 to 40 lead. Tommy's back. I told you he was tall. Look, when we come back, we're hitting the art easel, so don't go anywhere. The classroom continues right after this. Great job, guys. What a round for you. Excellent work. Everybody helping out there. Would you guys knock it off? 
I'm just kidding. That was incredible. You guys are insane. Overbrook High School, one of my most spirit I've seen in a while. I love what you guys bring. You having a good time today? Yeah, it's great. Let's go. While we continue, you know those students are going for the win. Championship on the line. $500. Make the call. Can they do it? Yes. Let's go. You guys heard it. Let's go. Our class next. Each team selected one player to draw. I love Overbrook. You guys don't stop screaming. This is the school I want to go to. All right, the trailing team's going to go first. So, uh, teachers, you're up here, and you're going to select one of these two cards, okay? Inside, there's a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Five seconds to draw, ten seconds to look at it. You're going to make one correct guess. Correct answer here is worth 30 points. You get it right, boom, that'll go to you. If you get it wrong, I'm going to give you two more chances. Points decrease. You ready to do this? Yes. This game starts right now. Five seconds on the clock. Mr. Prescott, Miss Palm. Okay, stop. Here we go. What are we looking at? B. Come on. B. Disgusting. Oh, Good thing. Let's try it. Yeah, because I see the antenna. All right, let's try that. A B. Incorrect. We're going to go back around. Here we go. Five more seconds. Aha. All right, stop right there. Ten seconds. Talk about it. One correct guess gets you 20 points this round. <laughs> I don't know. It's water. It's water. It is water. A water bug? Answer. A water bug. Incorrect. Here we go. Miss B, you got this. Ten seconds to finish it up. Good luck. All right, Prescott, Palm, you guys are in the mix here. <laughs> That's so much better, actually. I like what you're doing. Okay. This is a good I have to say. This guy got it. Come on now. <laughs> um, uh, well, that one looks like a lobster. Icarus. Lobster? Need a guess? Um, a seagull. A, a seagull? Oh, Incorrect. The answer. Lobster. Lobster. <laughs> You had it. Don't worry about it. Give her a big round. The students are loving it. All right, we're going to switch you guys out. I got points on the line for the students as they can grab a victory here in the first round. Come on out here. This is going to be your word. Take that one. Okay. I'm going to put this other one in my pocket. All right, that's what you're drawing. You ready? Yeah. Grab a marker. Okay. And go. Okay, so not only did she beat up the board, <laughs> but she gave you a great drawing. Dog? Is that a dog house? Dog? Oh, dog house. She's in the house, but I guess it's a dog house. Dog house? Yeah. Dog house. Dog house is right and grabs 30 points! Woo! How about this? Ivy and Tommy, she goes the dog, but she drew the house. That's the teamwork I'm talking about. That's going to get you 30 points, and good for you on those drawings. Gets you up to 120 on the game. 40 points for our teachers, but I got extra credit coming right now. One extra credit question on the line. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial break to write down their answers. Here we go. Here's your question. What is the first and last name of the woman who sings the national anthem before the majority of Flyers home games? Hopefully you're a big Flyers fan, and if not, call a friend, because when we come back, I give you the answer. Don't go anywhere, everybody. You're watching The Classroom on Fox 29. to the teacher's 40. We are in a head-to-head -head match over Brook High School in Camden County. You guys know the drill. Extra credit questions worth 10 points. Here was what I asked. What is the first and last name of the woman who sings the national anthem before the majority of Flyers home games? And we start with our teachers. Lauren Hart. That's going to get you 10 up to 50. <laughs> I didn't want to catch a glimpse of the student answer, but I did. <laughs> Students, what did you say? Mariah Carey. Oh, man. I wish. She is the voice of an angel. No, uh, 10 points over here. You guys got up to 50 points. Good for you. And teachers, students, look, you guys got 500 on the line for a big win today. Tommy, you win 500, I give you a big old check. 
What do you spend it on? Senior fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You need it all for us. <laughs> yeah. Why not, man? <laughs> Keep it for yourselves. I love it. Probably have a good party there. And teachers. What are we going to do with it? Well, the teachers could use a new laminator. So Let's go. Okay. That was like a good laminator to get the teachers pumped. All right. Game continues. Picture day's next. Okay, okay, here we go. Grab your buzzers, teams. You're gonna need them here. We're gonna show you a picture of a famous person, place, or thing. I covered it with boxes. I'll give you three clues, one at a time. With each clue, we'll reveal three more of the boxes. You buzz in, you get it correct, 10 points. You get locked out if you get it wrong. The other side can buzz in and steal those points. Three pictures today, let's play. Picture one, clue one. This character wears a helmet. Clue number two. He's constructed his own lightsaber. Mr. Prescott. Kylo Ren. Is that Kylo Ren? That's Kylo Ren. Yeah, or Ben Solo. Nice. And we moved to picture two. You guys up to 60 points. Good job. Here we go. This volcano has been dormant since 1707. Clue number two. Three more pictures, please. It's the highest mountain in Japan. Mr. Prescott. Mount Fuji? Is that Mount Fuji? Yeah, there she is. Here we go. Mr. Prescott going for the sweep. Picture three, clue one. This person loves their French bulldog. Everyone loves their French bulldog. Here we go. Oh, first one in Ivy. L. Woods. Is that L. Woods? Free steal. Otherwise, I'll give you guys the next clue, Mr. Prescott. Uh, Ky Kylie Jenner. Is that Kylie Jenner? Does she have a French bulldog? <laughs> that was a good guess. I'm going to look into that. Clue two. This Houston-born rapper got her nickname because of her height and beauty. Anna. Cardi B. Is that Cardi B? Incorrect. Steal Mr. Prescott. Lil Baby. Is that Lil Baby? Mr. Prescott's guesses are the best I've ever heard in this game. He is just going pop icon culture. Here we go. Clue three. In 2019, she trademarked the name of her song, Hot Girl Summer. Anna. Nicki Minaj. Is that Nicki Minaj? Yeah, I knew it. Incorrect. Free steal otherwise. Miss Pavini. Lil Kim. Incorrect. Lil Kim. Great one. Megan the Stallion. Thank goodness that picture's over. We guessed every female <laughs> rapper known to man. Scores stay the same. Students 120, teachers 70, final exam right now. <laughs> Here's the topic. It's in the arts. So here we go, everybody. The arts. I'll ask three questions, 100 points each. They'll put together those heads during the commercial break. Work as a team. They'll get 60 seconds. Here's question number one. In Western musical notation, what is the term for the vertical lines used to divide a musical staff into measures? Question two. What post-impressionist artist famously cut off his own left ear? The arts, question three. What is the first and last name of the actress who plays Paige, a college student cast in a Hollywood movie on the show Famous in Love? There are the questions. Each team, 60 seconds, and that is it. The students have ran the tables here today and got up to 120 points, but these teachers are chomping at the bit to come back in final exam. Can they do it? I am here to find out. I hope you are, too. When we come out, we crown a champion of the classroom and give them bragging rights for the eternity. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more more information on how to get on the show. Welcome back into the classroom today. It's the students and teachers from Overbrook High School going head to head. Uh, students are in the lead, teachers, but that's okay. You guys have 70 points on the board, and it's anybody's game with 300 points still left up for grabs. It's all about the arts today. We went with the fine arts, right? Three questions, 100 points each. Let's do this. And we start with question one. In Western musical notation, what is the term for the vertical lines used to divide a musical staff into measures? Going to have to be a little bit musical to get this one right. Teachers, you're behind. We start with you. You can grab the lead with one correct answer. Miss Palm. Bar. Bar is right. Gets you up to 170. And I go over to Anna. Bar line? Bar is right. 
Anna, do you play an instrument? What? Do you play an instrument? I actually started playing piano this year. So oh, perfect. Is that why someone in the audience said, you better get this right, I paid for lessons. <laughs> I don't know who that was. Someone yelled that, though. Okay, we move, we move to question two. What post-impressionist artist famously cut off his own left ear teachers? Mr. Prescott. We got Van Gogh, or Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh's got you 270, man, 270. Here we go, Ivy, to keep pace. Let's see it. Vincent Van Gogh. There it goes. Both sides get it right. And ladies and gentlemen, Overbrook comes down to our final question. Teachers, get this right. The game continues. Otherwise, get ready to go wild because I'm giving you a check for $500. What is the first and last name of the actress who plays Paige? A college student cast in a Hollywood movie on the show Famous in Love. Teachers, have to get this right. You said... Jennifer Love Hewitt. Heartthrob J. Love Hewitt is incorrect. Students win the game. And $500 is going to that senior fund. Come on out here, Ivy, Tommy, Anna. Hey, Bella Thorne was the answer we were looking for. None of them got it right. Students win, though, $500 in this big old checks going back to Overbrook. We'll see you guys next time right here on The Classroom. Sorry about that. We'll get you back in here season two, Mr. Prescott. All right. Have a rough game. Tough game. Yeah, tough game. Students are smart.